Los pronombres personales sujeto. Personal pronouns. When the speaker is involved in the verb's action, there are two forms in English. The singular one is I, whose equivalent is yo in Spanish. The plural one is we, whose most common equivalent is nosotros. However, there is a feminine form, nosotras, when the speaker refers to a group of only women. When the speaker refers to the person who is talking to him, there is one form in English, you, but in Spanish, there are more. Tú is the singular equivalent for informal conversations. Usted is the same than tú, but used only in formal contexts. Apart from these two, there are also plural forms for you. Vosotros is the plural equivalent of tú. Ustedes is the plural equivalent of usted. When the speaker refers to a third person, both English and Spanish differentiate between masculine and feminine in the singular. He is él and she is ella. Spanish has also two forms for the plural. Ellos for the masculine and ellas for the feminine. These are all the personal pronouns. In English, the form of most verbs does not depend on the person we are referring to. I eat, you eat, we eat. Except for the third person. He eats. However, the verb to be has a different form for each person. Let's see how we conjugate its equivalent, ser, in Spanish. I am, yo soy. You are, tú eres. He is, she is. Él es, ella es. We are, nosotros somos. You are, vosotros sois. They are, ellos son. Notice that the formal you is conjugated as the, as the third person, not as the second. You are, usted es. You are, ustedes son. Fundamental rule. This rule is called subject and verb agreement. In Spanish, any verb has one different form for each person and it needs to be conjugated according to the subject.